things are moving along really well. I've had a really good couple of days um, of training, being in the gym and feeling feeling positive about the trend or in, in the direction that I'm heading in with this challenge. And I um, actually didn't think about how it would completely start to get me thinking about my golf game, my golf swing, but also other parts of the things in, that I'm trying to do. I think challenging yourself to do something and stick to something and then constantly and consistently showing up has is starting to develop something that I don't know what it is just yet. Um, but as soon as I do know, I'll you know I'll try to share it with you guys. But there's something happening throughout this challenge, and um, it does it's having a real profound effect on me as a person and my belief in myself as well as what I think I can achieve. And I do have a lot of hope. I think my willpower to do this has grown immensely. And so um, it's training in the right direction, but I'm, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. You know, I continuously and constantly say this, we, you know, staying, not getting too high, not getting too low. Which I've done in the past, and I don't want to. I don't want to let any of that get in the way. It's about just challenging myself to stay even keel, even you know. And and as I move into day seventeen, the focus for today is really going to be around how I can interact with the ground better through my golf swing. A couple of years ago, I had a really serious ankle injury, which came from basketball. I stood on someone's foot and can't explain to you the pain that I was in, but essentially what that happened with, what happened with that was it was my left foot and being a lefty that's kind of my grounding leg that's the leg where most of the force rotates around and ever since then my golf my golf swing changed a lot it became a lot of upper body arm swinging rather than really using the ground more efficiently so today I'm gonna really focus in on that part of it I think if I'm gonna continue to take this you know the steps in the direction that I want to keep going in which is adding a little bit more distance to my swing whilst not compromising any of the direction of my game um, I have to learn or maybe even relearn but it's, it is definitely learn how to use the ground better um, how to use legs or my strength in my legs and try to um, counterbalance counteract some of the problem that I've got in that ankle and not being able to put as much weight and force to it as I once used to be able to so there is a little bit of that um, yesterday's session was good the first one out of the trackman session so the speed training I'm doing I'm gonna leave that for every second day uh, I need to rest after doing that speed training because it is you, you, you know I'm overclocking or you know I'm, I'm swinging out of my shoes uh, for that training so you gotta give your chance give your body a chance to kind of get back um, what it loses so that's kind of the focus today and you know trying to figure out what it is that's changing in me as I'm doing this challenge uh, that's the focus today we're gonna get to it I'm looking forward to today I'm hoping this this helps me unlock something a new level in my game all right so I do have track man here with me today so you guys be able to see what's going on with the swing um, start this warm-up we'll move into it Tommy Fleetwoods. Let's get into this a little. Should be able to see Trackman in front of you. 
Mm, look at the heel strike. She's working into it. It's a good ball. It's out of 140. Just got to try to really load up this rear leg better. Got it kicked in. Oh, look at that. It's almost come off the heel. Oh, good shot. A lot of. It's interesting. Center. Looks like I've got a lot of heel strikes going on. Nah. There it is again. Another heel strike. Just gotta get in again. Right, I'm going to try something here. I'm just going to go patience here and swing from here down. So get it in the slot and then swing from there. Let's see if I can help neutralize that. There it is. It's a good drill. It's just Get that ball. Square that club face up a little better. Okay. Good. Just there. more of these ones really good drill drop it in the slot turn middle it's funny is have a look at the speed that it generate from here compared to some full swing Try this drill for a little bit longer. It's just helping me stay down and through. <laughs> okay, what? It's teaching me something. Have a look at those numbers. The crazy thing is that's not even a full backswing. Oh, that's bad. Try that again. That's why we practice stuff. It's about generating as much speed from an impact as possible. Look at that. Goes to show, it's a lot of wasted movement here in your in your golf swing normally. Just crazy. 
<laughs> That's insane. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep keep this drill up. All I'm thinking about is just letting my hands drop, keeping my back to the target, and then turning from here rather than here. So we're gonna keep that drill going. Um, I think I'm trying to develop speed and accuracy. It feels as if I just drop it in that slot. Just learn to turn from here. Really just let my wrist go. So it's gonna it's very weird. Very weird feeling. So they sound a little bit weird too. A lot of wasted movements. Look at that. Okay. Let's get back to that drill. Should be solid. Yeah. <sighs> really solid. There we go. One fifty, one forty, one fifty total middle. Okay. So really just here, then club sort of, see where the club is. I'm literally learning to turn from there. Let my hands go as much as I can. They are going a little bit right, but that's okay. Total numbers up. That's not good. Changed it slightly. Don't want that club to get too far behind me. Needed to stay. There we go, 150 total. It's forcing me to get my speed in front of that ball. Rather than here. Wow. 152, 143 carry. Definitely picked up on something here. A little bit, a bit high face. I think I hooked it. Hmm. Have a look at it. Look at the distance there, though. Huge difference when you play a draw. Now I'm going to keep this drill a couple more. Hmm. A little bit thin. But those numbers are up.
Alright, this, this drill's a game changer. This is completely changed. I picked up five meters. There. Get the elbow tucked in to there. Drop. So this is a feel right here. See that that elbow tucked in quite a lot. Drop it in. Turn from there. It's probably left. Yeah. All right. Then. That's right, 150. Okay, that's gone right. It's not a bad miss. Better launch. Ah, that's a bad miss. This is right there, drop it in the slot and then turn from there. Really focus on like that loading into this foot here, rear foot, pushing and sitting down on it, really pushing off as much as I can. Back at home, back on the Spawnia. There's a couple of really key things there that I figured out in that session, but also it, I kind of also realized that when you go and work on Trackman, and I've done it twice in the last week, um, you can get obsessed with the numbers a little bit too much. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to ever take this content down that path because I've seen a lot of uh, that kind of creep in in the past and I think it happens to a lot of us so I'm just gonna focus on what I'm feeling what I'm seeing and kind of just let the game and the results talk for themselves but I wanted to quickly touch on what I had just picked up on that last session or that last few balls that I hit um, I realized that my grip was actually quite weak. It was quite over the top with that trailing arm. And, and what that's causing is, because I turn quite aggressively, in my mind, I think that I'm turning to square the club head up. But in fact, because I turn so aggressively, I end up turning to the point where I leave the club head open like that. And with a weak grip, that's all that's going to happen. So I've got to just strengthen my grip just a little bit. And all I'm doing for that is literally just twisting my arm or my hand, that trail arm, getting a little bit more underneath the club. Not too much, not exaggerated. And when I did that, my club path improved. I hit the ball from the middle a lot more often. I left the face. Granted, I still didn't release the club properly today. So you're not gonna have your best stuff every single day. Um, that was kind of what I picked up on in that session. And then the other thing which like surprised me so much was how much power and speed I generated with that drill. 
And I just wanted to emphasize what I was working on there. That drill is, what I'm th telling myself is, go back, take the club back to, to the top, and let my back face the target. Almost a full turn. See that position? Elbow tucked in. That's what I'm going for. Right or wrong, I don't know who teaches it, I don't know who, who doesn't. This is what I'm gonna do for my game. I'm going back, turn, elbow as close to body as possible, tucked in, not chicken winged out. And now as I, instead of turning, what I'm focusing on is just put, getting that club to drop, or as Sergio Garcia calls it, pulling the lever. And you're not really pulling, I'm not really pulling too much, I'm literally just letting gravity do a lot and then waiting for my opportunity to turn from here, from this position, rather than turning from up here. You see what I'm talking about? And so it's just this, and it's, I mean, there are gonna be some terrible strikes here. So this, I'm gonna call the pump drill. So here, I'm not worried about the impact, I just want to, and from this point, what I'm thinking about is really loading up, and what I mean by loading up for me, the thought that I'm having, is almost sitting down on that rear left leg, turning around on it. Here it is there. So here. Controlling that club face a lot better. And then getting my turn and my speed from here, rather than wasting a lot of movement up here. funny thing after doing this drill was I saw that my club, my ball distance was good. I hit the heel of the club or favored the heel of the club today, which I've, I've done in the past a little bit. So I do want to get back to uh, closer to the middle, obviously. That's good. But yeah, that was a really quick look at what I took away. Plenty, plenty of good stuff. I worked something out. The pump drill, that's what that one's gonna be called. So I'm gonna be working from that position, that slot, and really turning and burning from that position, rather than a lot of wasted movement, a lot of wasted effort, trying to really rip the club from the top here and losing some speed because, as you saw in those numbers, it's a waste of movement. We're getting smarter, we're getting better, and that's all we can ask for, right? So, hey man, we just keep finding a way. We just keep pushing forward. The results may not come today, tomorrow, in a week, in a month. We don't know when they'll come, but just stay, stay the course and just keep pushing through it. It's all we can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and follow my journey. And don't forget, golf is hard.